Hello everyone and welcome to the Ghost Slayers Report. Me as always, Ryan. I'm here today in Kokobunji, Tokyo, in one of the parks here that I particularly enjoy. As you may know, I have a certain uh, love of nature and when I find it, I take advantage of it and try to enjoy it. And again, it's a really good place to get into what I want to talk about here. Which is, avoid the conspiracy theory trap. Now I know this video is going to upset a few people. May even make a few people not like me. But that's okay. Because I'm very sure of myself and I know who I am. And I know what I've been doing. So, if you want to hate me for this video unsubscribe or leave vicious comments that's fine that's okay go ahead and do it fine now we have to remember that there's a difference between analysis of the news and conspiracy theory now certain things that I particularly find interesting and I do believe I've been researched very well are issues like 9-11 um, there's a ton of information about that some of it's been very well researched and deserves to get more attention and to be looked at and taken more seriously um, issues surrounding the Kennedy assassination there are some things that have been very well researched and, and very properly done and do deserve to be looked at more closely. I'm not talking about those type of things. What I'm getting into is um, certain ladies and gentlemen who basically spout off nonsense. People who get into numbers and they break down words to mean something. Okay. Prove it. People get into the origin of words and like this word means this, each letter represents something. Okay. Prove that. And remember, when you go about these type of inane type of conspiracy theories and things, especially when you get into language, Remember that I am a teacher. That's my job. I teach English. All right, so my background in language and understanding of language, especially the English language, is quite deep and well-versed. So when I hear people, they get on radio, they make videos, and they start spouting off about the meaning of words. I really hope you know what you're talking about. Especially when you're coming to the English language. And the origin of words and the history of language. How it's used, how it's developed, what each letter or syllable may mean. You really better know what you're talking about. And it's not just things like that. It's when... I hear people go on and on about all the things they say they know, but they don't provide any evidence. And when they do provide evidence, it's sketchy. It doesn't, often, it, it's not based on research. It's not based off historical reference. It's not based off of um, proof. I can't fact check a lot of things that I see sometimes. It's almost as if I should take their word for it. And I'm not going to do that. I'm a critical thinker. I went to university and college to study journalism. I learned how to properly fact check information. I learned how to present news and information to people in a way they can digest and understand. 
So when people present things and they say, you know, I know what I'm talking about. I, I am the one you should listen to. You sound like a false prophet. You sound like a charlatan. You sound like someone looking to get, for lack of a better word, paid. Now I know that's a controversial thing to say. But take a look at some of these people. Alright? Now there are people who have books and videos out there that they're selling. And they are well researched and well versed. And they do know what they're talking about. And because they have a book or video for sale, it does not particularly make them a charlatan or someone out to make money. Don't confuse what I'm saying. Alright, what I'm talking about is these people who I hear have these rants. And then at the end of it, say, oh yeah, buy my book. Oh yeah, buy my video. Those people. I don't trust them. I don't give them much credit. And I have no interest in them. But please remember, like I said, there are people who do have books and videos out there for sale, and they are well researched and they know what they're talking about. And if you notice how they talk when they're on uh, radio or on video or on mainstream media or on their own forms of media that they are creating themselves, they'll speak very differently about things. And they'll speak very calmly and they'll speak on everything based on well-researched facts and information instead of spouting off crazy rants and saying things that cannot be fact-checked saying things as they say only I have this information that's a key word when you hear people say that only I have this information I'm on the inside those type of people you should be questioning how credible they are you know I am the only one that had this experience I'm the only one that knows it that's often a cover for someone who doesn't know what they're talking about. And they're spewing out their, pardon my language, but they're just spewing shit out of their mouth. Saying crazy things that cannot be fact checked or researched. And then push their book or video on you. Or push whatever they're selling onto you. Because somehow, they know. You know, they are the experts. Watch those people. Don't trust them. And that's what I mean by avoid the conspiracy theory trap. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching my videos. I thank you so much. Until next time, this is me, Ryan, here in Tokyo, Japan. Checking out.